Amen. Amen. Just want to try to introduce to some and present to others a giant of a man. Right. I don't say that because we're connected, but because he is a man of God. That is the person of Elder Carl Pierce, who is a retired pastor of the full Holy Temple Incorporation, under the leadership of Apostle Herman L. Mary. In 2022, Elder Pierce retired after 27 years of pastoral service at the Full Gospel Holy Temple Church in McKinney, Texas. Elder Pierce and his wife, Diane. Wave your hand, Diane. Amen. She's, she's, she's unavailable. And that's been for 53 years. Come on, somebody. Say 53 years. They are proud parents of three daughters, five grandchildren, and one great-granddaughter. And I'm so glad, I guess they say peacock proud and all that stuff, Elder, <laughs> to have him in our midst today, amen. But out of all of that, the one thing is that he has a BA. He has a born again. And because he's born again, his position in heaven is already sealed. Amen, somebody. His home has already been purchased, already been built. Come on, somebody. As I've known him, he's always been a godly man. He's always carried himself as a, a man of God. All that I can remember, because I'm not too much from that 53, amen. So, amen, and as, I, as long as I can remember, he's always been in church. Amen, been a part of the church. That big church you see on TV over in Dallas, he's there. If you watch some of the video clippings, you'll see him there. And we thank God for his wife who has a ministry. You need to look her up on the ministry, Sister Bird. She's on the Facebook. Look her up. Amen. She's uh, preaching and teaching the Word of God, and I enjoy her teaching as well. Not going to hold you too much longer, but I want you to elevate your right hand as a token of respect, and respect for the man of God. And so, Elder Pierce, Elder Pierce. Oh, Elder Pierce, oh, Elder Pierce, is there a word, there a word from, the Lord? from the Lord? I present to you, Elder, call my cousin Pierce. Praise the Lord, everybody. I'm glad I'm here this morning. Amen. God has been good. God has blessed us. There's nothing wrong with rejoicing in the Lord. And again, I say rejoice in the Lord. Because God's been good to us. Down through the years, we've been going through some trial, but God has been good to us. We're still standing. We're still, we still shouting hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. There's nobody to do like Jesus. Matter of fact, he's the best man in the world. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Hey, everybody. so glad to be in your midst of this morning. Amen. I thank God for Pastor Reverend Allen. Amen. I, 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 don't, I don't want to disrespect him in no way, no eyes. Amen. He's the shepherd of this house. And I give him honor to, today. Amen. For being the shepherd of this house and giving me this opportunity to speak a word of God. I must warn you, I'm a homeless preacher. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I'm going to take my time. Is that all right? This ain't about no, what you are, your affiliation. This is about giving the word of God out. Come on, somebody say amen. amen. Somebody said, asked me, did I want a song? I, I, I said, I wish I could sing. <laughs> I will put my aunt, Annie, my aunt, Annie, over there right. on the guitar, on the uh, piano. Right. And you know what we were saying, Annie? 
And we go sweeping through the city, oh yeah, like my loved one has gone before. so happy to be here. Amen. And I don't plan to be before you very long. Except the Lord say different. Amen. Once again, I just want to say I thank God for Reverend Allen bless me to be here. Amen. And the family, amen, the shepherd of this house. Amen. I thank God for him. He's doing a great work. Doing a great work. I think this is my first time being with him in service like this here. But he's doing a great work. Amen. I tell you, I'm, I'm just so happy for my for my cousin. Amen. My first cousin. Amen. And he's just doing a wonderful job. Amen. We so thank God for that. Amen. Amen. And I thank God also before I won't get in no trouble. Thank God for my wife. How a strong man is a strong woman. I tell you, I thank God I got it. You know, you can't stand 53 years. If you can't find some reason in 53 years, if the devil ain't found no way of breaking us up in 53 years, he done lost. I mean, the devil said, you wrong, you bad boy, you. I can't touch that. Because they, I thank God that's my first love, and I thank God I'm just so God matched us up together. And I, there's nowhere I go that she won't go to. Amen. Right. Matter of fact, when I don't want to go, she encourage me. Get up, let's go. Right. Amen. Right. Nothing wrong with praising the Lord. Right. He's the best thing that ever happened to me. Right. We want to speak to you briefly. Is that all right? right. I don't plan to be for you very long, except the Lord say different. We want to speak to you briefly. Speaking about leadership, leadership in the church. All right. All right. And that's working together. That's the main thing, it's working together in love and in harmony. And I love what I have felt in the service on this morning. All right, all right, amen. I have felt love. Amen. I mean, I felt love all over this place, running from sea to sea, amen, greeting each other. And I didn't see nobody act like, uh, trying to dodge somebody else, you know, I, we had an ad on going around. I didn't see that. It seemed like everybody was embracing somebody, telling them, oh, I love you. Because if you cannot get this right, your labor is in vain. Somebody saw me, saw is my labor in vain? Remember, that's your sister said, that's And she said, of course not. I can't say it. It's a good thing I can't say it. We'll be here at least another 30 minutes. Yeah, and I ain't even started yet. Praise the Lord. Leadership in the church and working together, that, that's a very main. Yeah, yeah. You got to work together. Yes, yes. First thing I, 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 I want to stretch out is that behind everybody, everybody, they are, every church, there is a pastor. All right, all right. Is that all right? All right? There is a pastor. And I don't care how good you can sing. I don't care how good you play on that drums, how you can sound on the guitar, on the keyboard. This man is still the pastor. All right. All right. I want somebody to say amen. amen. No, I, I, and you may be one of the preachers, oh, you can preach people and shout all over the place. But when you get through shouting, you get through preaching, he's still the pastor. All right. And the best thing for us as members to do is stay in your lane. Come on, somebody. Don't try and be what you are not. Don't try and be what God has called you to do. Take your time. And you let God use you, but do stay in your track. Stay in your lane. Whatever you do, you ought to honor your leader. I don't care if you're in the grocery store. Don't. Oh, Mike. No, no, no. No, no, no. You don't do that. You don't do that. 
then you're going to come up in church and clap your hands and you've been disrespectful. Uh -huh. You ought to honor your pastor everywhere you go, everywhere you see him. Hello, pastor. Hello, pastor. Giving him bread and a bread, but that's not, he won't, that's not my pastor right there. And let me know you proud of your pastor. Worthy of double honor. Come on, somebody say amen. You ought to clap your hands for your leader. I'm trying to tell you, but you know what? I don't, I don't like what he preached. I, I don't think he was right. You ought to put him in your place. Look here. You are the place. Don't come to me, but that, that's my pastor. And then my pastor feel led to preach that, then that's him. You know, who is you talking about? Well, he didn't, shouldn't be preaching that. He preached what God gives him. This is leadership in the church. Look here. If you came to be a good follower, can I just say it like that? To be a good follower, you've got to be, to be a good leader. That's what I'm trying to say. To, if, to be a good leader, you've got to be a good follower. Come on, somebody say, man. You can't go around pointing fingers at nobody. you got four of them coming back at you. Get that mud out of your own eye, baby. Work on yourself. Work on your own. Look what. Who put that at your back door? You work on your back door. Yeah. Oh, you try to work on somebody else, you work on yourself. Because you yourself is your biggest problem. That brother, that sister is not your problem. You are your biggest problem. And you got to learn how with all your heart, you got to learn how to forgive. You can't just make my God if you gonna hold brothers. If you do what they give them, you better get over it. Because time is winding down. Matthews 22 and 14 reads, For many are called, but few chosen. God may call you, but he hadn't chosen you. But many are what? Called, but only a few are chosen. When God calls you, you may feel the impression, you may feel led that God is calling you to do this and do that. But that don't mean God has chosen you to do this and to do that. Many are called but for your what? Listen, you may not be the chosen one. God got somebody else in that position he wanted you. But you have no right saying it should have been me. God don't make no mistakes. You may sound better, you may sing better, but God don't make no mistakes. No, Matter of fact, can I be honest with you? If you're not faithful, God can't use you in a house. I don't care how well you can sing and how well you can play this and that. If you're not faithful, can't nobody depend on you. A good, a good follower has got to be a good leader. A good leader. A good leader. There you go. Did y'all hear that? A good leader, he has got to have good followers. Because he can't run this race by himself. No man is an island, and you cannot do this on your own by yourself. You're going to need somebody, but you're going to need somebody that you can depend on. We're having choir rehearsal at 7 30 Friday. Here you are, all oh, for God. Your heart is not in it. Your heart is not in it. Come on, somebody say amen. How many times you gonna go to work tomorrow? I forgot to go to work. That ain't gonna work. You do it too many times to make it. I don't know how good you are. He must say, I'm gonna put somebody in that I can depend on. You better. You can do a good job. But I need somebody that I can depend on. Don't you ever want to wake up the Lord? You can depend on me. Lord, if you need somebody, Lord, send me, Lord. I go. I go, Lord. I go wherever. Me, Lord. How many want to be used by God? Get in line. Get in line. Get in line. Because we all want to be used by God. Come on, somebody say amen. amen.
But many are called, but few are what? Chosen. Only a few chosen. Yeah. How many feel like you've been chosen? Yeah. Yeah. Give me a give, give hand. Oh, we got people, some people say, ain't made it over here. They still got jealousy in their heart. Look at that thing, sir. Work yourself. But let this mind be in you was also in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Offer yourself yeah. under the mighty hands of God. No matter how well you sing, you ought to give God the glory. That's right. That's right. That's right. Here was a young man one time tell me, he said, oh, man. I, boy, I preached so hard. I mean, it looked like heaven came down and touched the earth. I said to myself, I said, ain't nobody saying it but you. <laughs> Lifting up yourself. What you need to do is, is say, Lord, I give God the praise. God really did that. He really just stepped in on us. He came in and he stepped in and he just blessed our soul. It wasn't nothing about this. It wasn't nothing about that. It was just God came right in. And see that all of a sudden the spirit of the Lord started moving and hooting and God was starting Body 
Meat is not one member, but many. If the foot, <laughs> woo, if the foot shall say, because I am not the hand, I'm getting tired of beating this old bass drum. <laughs> He look over there, he's looking at, looking at that man, he's looking at working on that hand over there. I'm getting tired of him. Every time you look around, God is using him. He just, he just out front all the time, you just do what you do. Yeah. <laughs> because if you stop doing, if you stop using your feet, he ain't gonna be able to hold it by himself. All right, all right. He need, he need it all coming together. That's it. Working together. Isn't that something sometime when, when some plan, you want to wake up, look at the keyboard, turn him down, turn him down. He's too loud. Then you want to be the loudest thing up there. No, what need to be turned down is you need to be turned down. Come on and clap your hands, somebody. Clap your hands, somebody. We talking about that. We talking about preferring another over yourself. Amen. In other words, don't, don't recognize yourself as the only one that can do it, but prefer somebody else over yourself. All right. For if the foot shall say, because I am not of the hand, I am not of the body. Yeah. Is it therefore not of the body? It's still of the body. Yeah. Yeah. You, you think that because some of them soldiers out there can sing, ooh, and my man, man, they can sing. You think I'm going to say, well, I'm not a kid. I thought he won't get me to sing. I'm going to sing. I think you're talking about you sing. Stay in your lane. If God wants you to say, He'll anoint you to say. Look, and God don't need no help. God don't need no permission. If God wants you to say, He would anoint you to say. Look at you just play your part. Stay in your lane. Sometimes people think you'd be surprised. You can give somebody keys to the door to let everybody in, and somebody else won't get jealous. Oh my. Who you think you're, 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 you got the key? Well, somebody got to open up. <laughs> but I've been there longer than you. I should have been the one. I should have been the one that got the key. Oh Look here, but you got faith. Oh you go, you, you go three, two, four, five weeks at a time, and we don't know where you are. Oh Lisa's gonna call the bachelor. Bachelor's gonna be here to make it this time. Oh Lisa, Lisa, know you not absent. You know you. Use a counter. We know it, but you out and you and you've been out for two or three weeks and ain't here, ain't said nothing. Lord, I'm rich. What did I say in my last message? What did I do wrong? Come on, leadership in the in the church. Amen. So look, look, and, and one thing you don't do, don't get in the pastor way. If you know pastors dealing with something, you leave it alone, and you let the pastor have it. The 16th verse. If the ear shall say, because I am not the eye, if I'm not of the body, is it therefore not one body? What is that? If the who? The who? The ear. Faith come by what? The ear. The ear is very important. Brother, if you wake up and you can't hear no more, you got a problem. <laughs> I'm telling you, brother, if you wake up and you realize you can't hear nothing, you realize that's how important your hearing is. So your hearing is just because you're not the mouth, you still got a very valuable place to part. You still got to play your part. Get out of the pastor lane. Let it have, let the pastor have this here. Somebody come to you with a problem, you know you're not the pastor. Listen. Go to the pastor with this here. Right. This is bigger than me. Right. I know what I think I would do, but what I think I do is irrelevant. Go see what the pastor said. Right. He is the shepherd right. of these sheep. Yes. And the Bible said, my sheep know my the call. Uh -huh. And when I call, they come here. Right. Jesus is the shepherd. Yes. David said, yea. Yes. David said, the Lord is my shepherd. You know why David declared that the Lord is his shepherd? For one thing, a little sheep has no protection. You never read or, 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 or see a, a, a documentary where you see two sheep fighting. They don't do it. It's not in their nature. They depend on the shepherd. 
And you know what the shepherd did? She, the shepherd got a rod, and he's that rod, and that step. In other words, you let the wolf man come out now. Yeah. All right. I got my shepherd with me, and my right. shepherd got a rod, and he's coming from your head. Yeah. And he goes to the shepherd. Yeah, all right. And then he said, you know, yeah, I know I walk through the valley of the shadow of the devil. I will feel no evil. You know why? Because I got the shepherd on my side. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when they get sick and, and, and turn the you know, this, you know who they call for? They call for the pastor. Uh -huh. All right. We ain't call for no, no Dick and you all right, but I need the pastor on this one. All right. All right. All right. You do your part, you do real good, but I need the pastor right. on this one. Right. This is too big for me. Right. And, and I know you. I know how you cut up when we ain't in church. So I'm getting the pastor. I got to get the real thing, the real thing. Hearing. If the whole were hearing, where would the smell? Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you something. I don't know about you, but I like I like I like see, I like see, see my, what my food smell, smell like for I, I get a little taste. And if you ain't got no smell, you don't have no taste. If you don't have no smell, you don't have no taste. All all all, all of it tastes bad until you get that smell back. Sense of smell. That's you, you got to have that smell. I, I, yeah, Lord. <laughs> it's important that you have your sense of smell. You can't hear gas escaping. If it is, but you can show smell. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna get no, you smell the gas. And then when you catch up with it, you deal with it. Yeah. It's all that ain't nothing up with a little gas. A little gas will kill you too. You better take care of it. You better take care of it. But now God set members in every one of them in the body. It has pleased him. And if they were all one member, where were the body? But now are they many members, yet but one body. We all just one body. Yeah. Serving God. That's right. I told y'all about my songs. I was saying, when we all get to heaven, yeah. Yeah. Not tough. are we all striving to go to heaven? Yeah. Yeah. At, the, at the end of the day, we want to, the Lord to walk up to his brother and say, Well done. Well done. My good. Well done. Well done. I've been faithful serving. I told y'all, God likes faithfulness. Yeah. You can't do nothing if you're not faithful. Oh, yeah. In the big city of Dallas, the big church, this was Pastor Marion and he had a young man that was doing the conducting the testimony service, but he, he was promoted up and he needed somebody to fill that spot. Man, I, I, I'm, 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 and, and, and I'm the least of all of them. The, all of them that was conducting before then was good conductors, better than me. But I had one edge on. I was faithful. Yes, sir. And I wasn't looking for it either. I wasn't like, I'm, I'm going to be faithful before I get the next one. No, no, no. That was both for me. But I was faithful. Okay. I was there. I was dependent. Not only was I faithful, I was dependable. Yeah. Yeah. You can depend on my, you. What time just start? 7.30. I'll be there at 7 o'clock. Because right. yeah. I want to get in my favorite seat. <laughs> <laughs> then if I don't get in my favorite seat, I'm not going to walk over some people get tight, get, 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 get lifted up about what seat they have. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wait just a minute, brother. I'll sit next to the pastor. Stay in your lane. The pastor got you down for a reason. Because he couldn't trust that other not there. He putting you at there, but don't you get the big head. Yeah. Don't get beside yourself. God got a way of pulling you there. Yeah. Yes, he will. Yeah. Yes, he will. Lead you up in the church. A good leader. A good leader is a good follower. Come on, somebody. A good follower makes a good leader. Yes. Yeah. Pastor, is there anything I can do for you? Anything. It don't matter what, 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 what we need anything done. Yeah, we need the we need the van to go put some gas in it. 
Oh, uh, now I won't do that. <laughs> you know what the pastor said? Well, I wouldn't, you don't have to worry about me asking you to do anything anymore. <laughs> Is that my sister back there? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wave your hand, sister. Uh, sneak in here on me. <laughs> Keep your seat. <laughs> We're going to move on in lessons. Move on down to the 23rd verse. Through the 31st verse. And those members of the body which we think to be less honorable. Yes. Ain't this something? Those members of the body that do seem to be less honorable. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Don't nobody wake up in the morning thinking about their coat. <laughs> you get out of the bed and you hit the head in that bed rail. Wow. <laughs> Everything is going toward that. <laughs> you ain't worried about the ear, you ain't worried about the eyes. But here the hand is, the hand is gonna take care of it. <laughs> That's what we ought to be one to another. When one is hurt, the other is hurt. When one is going through, we all are going through. So when one has been pulled up, we all get pulled up. Come on, somebody say amen. We don't want to be like no, no, no crawdad. Y'all trying to get out of the hole, and every time one get up, another pull him back down. But look at it. If we get up and get one on the outside on the top, he can pull the rest of them up. Yes, sir. to be less honorable, upon these we bestow more abundantly honor. And our uncommon part have been more abundantly common. For our common part have not no need. But God had tempered the body together, yeah. having given more abundantly honor to that part which lacked. Mm -hmm. In the end, huh. you're going to thank God for your token. That's right. Yeah. That you can do a word. You can thank God. You can thank God for your ears. Your eyes. Matter of fact, I was telling my wife this morning, baby, I don't know what's wrong with my eyes here. I look in the mirror, and they sure look pretty white to me. Brother, I'll be seeing some flashes going on. She said, well, that's some floaters. I said, yeah, but them floaters, they never shine like light. These sound like lightning. Lightning going across my eyes. I don't know. You know what my eyes start looking? My hands start. I said, what's going on here? I ain't seen them before, but you know what? I'm not worried about it. I don't talk God about it, and I'm not worried about it. Uh, I'm right. Right. Yeah, yeah. Is there anything to? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, I'm not worried about it. Yes. Whatever it was, I'm not worried about it. Yes. Somebody says something to this too. Mm. She'll pass. Yeah. Somebody say amen. Yeah. You got to get a hope of God word and you got to put it in there. You got to use it when you get an opportunity. The next time you get an opportunity to use God word, use God word. Oh, I'm so sick. I'm about to die. Those words are working against you. Oh, but God is on my side. You got pain rubbing all in your body. But God is on my side. Twenty-four verse four. Our common parts have no need, but I. But God has tempered divided together, having given more abundant honor to that which lacked. Twenty-fifth verse. That there should be no schism in the body. Mm -hmm. We told y'all to start working together. Yes. No skill one is being jealous of the other. Right. All right. He think he he always in the pastor face. Well, that's the relationship that they got. <laughs> that's the fellowship that they got between each other. Yeah. You welcome. But if you, amen, you put one out that door, you, you. <laughs> there been a time when I, I wanted to shake hands when I was pastoring them. But I can't catch up with it. So I said, I want you to turn the service loose. And while he turned the service loose, I'm going back there beating to the door. <laughs> so when he could it come out right there. <laughs> Brother, sure is good. And I want, to, I want to show him some love. 
Yeah. Come on, when somebody first start coming here, look here. Some of you all here, the first thing you ought to do, you ought to whoop them up with love. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. You want to let them know it ain't no, it don't get no better than this. Yes. Brother, you don't bet. You said you're looking for you don't found the right place because it don't get any better than this here. And one thing you throw out, you don't throw out your singing, you throw out your love. Yes. Yes. You make me feel like he's the best, you he the best thing that ever happened. You said, oh, yes, brother, God loved you, and I do, too. God going to bless you, brother. We're always so glad to have you here. Look here, won't you come back and bring your family with you? Somebody clap your hand for Jesus. That there should be no schism in the body, but that the members have the same care one for the other. We ought to be concerned about each other. Yes, sir. Somebody don't miss a couple of days. The first thing you'll do, Brother Jane, we missed you the last couple of Sundays. Everything's all right? Oh, yeah, we're getting ready right now. <laughs> Amen. But it, it, it means something for somebody to call you because that makes you know somebody cares. It's more than you in this. And sometimes it's good to hear somebody a comforting word from a sister, from a brother, from somebody other than your immediate family, but somebody saying, brother, God loves you. God loves you. I sure enjoyed you. And when you get when when you get a chance to enjoy somebody, lift them up. Yeah. Lift them up because the devil trying to tear them down. The devil trying to encourage them you ain't doing nothing. But we never we ought to be trying to lift them up. Yeah. Put our arms around the brother, you did a beautiful job. Yeah. We know you love you you, you, you you forgot that line there, but everything else was just fine. Yeah. Brother, we so never did enjoy. Yeah. Well then nobody said, oh, but you did a work on the inside. Yeah. Come on, somebody say you did a work on me on the inside. Yeah. And that's what matters. You changed my heart, you changed my mind. I got a blessing out of it. Yeah. All right. All right. Have you ever been blessed out of somebody saying? Bro, there are some people that can sing. Yeah. Have you ever been blessed out of somebody preaching? Yeah. Yeah. Don't get jealous. Right. Encourage them. Yeah. Because they go through some trials too. Right. I want to preach just like them. You better say you want the trial they want. <laughs> because there's some trials come behind yeah. it. I want to be a pastor. Go ahead. There's some trials behind a pastor. Yeah. But you know what? You remember this? And God is still on your side. I don't care how difficult it is. God is still yeah. on your side. Clap your hands, somebody. Yeah. 26 verse. And whether one member suffer, and that's what I said a while ago, and whether one member suffer, all the members suffer with it. A one member be honored. Isn't that something? My little been tagged as the number one church in the United States. All right. Man, look at all that. Ooh, all, all that right. glory. But man, we all want to enjoy. But now we're hearing that, that everybody on social media is talking about Man mm -hmm. because of their prestigious position. But you know what you ought to do? You ought to get your pastor and say, Pastor, it's going to be all right. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pastor, it's going to be all right. This too pay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. God, who didn't do this? It was the Lord's doing. Oh, yeah. See, something happens and promoted. It is the Lord's doing. Yeah. And it's marvelous in our eyes. Yeah. How many feel it? Say, how many How many? How many know it's good to feel, feel yourself, feel that hallelujah in you? Yeah. Feel that thank you, Jesus, in you. God gave me a vision about three months ago. And I'm still trying to figure it out exactly. And I saw three lights. You know, and I went to go get my, my camera to take a picture because ain't nobody gonna believe me. The last one just blinked out. And I said, God, love, why didn't you let me see you? I can show, I can tell everybody about it. And I said, what happened? What did, what did that mean? God said, all I want you to say. And that God, you chosen me. That I was chosen. I don't know what for. And God said, just say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And when, next time you put what, what is this? And you say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Whatever it is, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. How many got a yes up in you? Yes. How many got a yes up in you? Yes. 
Sometimes you gotta wake up and put a yes, Lord. Oh, Lord, I'm not here asking for anything, but I'm here to say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, I go. I go every step of the way. Yes, Lord. God will try to get a yes out of you. God would rather have a yes out of you than a hallelujah. Because the yes is not coming out of you. God can't make you do anything. God can't make you praise him. But brother, God wants that praise to come out of you. You've been good to me. You've been better to me than I've been to myself, Lord. Somebody ought to say, yes, Lord. I wish I would have sung so I think I would sing that song. Yes, 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 Lord. See, you God don't want to sing with me. God don't want to sing with me. I told you I'm not going to songs to do. I don't mean to be left by here by myself. I will cut it off short. Then I say, yes, Lord. Yes. Have you ever told the Lord yes? yes? And you didn't know why you were telling me yes? Because, Lord, whatever that yes is, Lord, you, we know that you can have it. Yes. You can make everything all right. Don't think about God. God is not sure. Yes. That's right. God is able to do exceedingly, yes. abundantly, yes. above yes. all that we're able to ask. Yes. But we can think a lot of things. Yes. But I'm telling you, we're serving a God that can just speak it. Oh, yeah. He can speak it. God's word is alive. Yes. And if God speaks a thing, it's going to come to pass. Yeah. You can shout about it. Yeah. Abraham, I'm going to give you a son. I'm going to give you a child. Look over there. Oh, no, no, no. She heard that. <laughs> but she forgot who spoke those words. God is able to do a seed in that. And then the angel turned around and looked at that and said, Look, is there anything too hard for God? <laughs> Look at your neighbor, take your neighbor to the neighbor. Members in particular, and God has sent some in the church. Yes. Listen, what God has sent in the church. Yes. He's the first what? Apostles. Yes. Secondary prophets. Yes. Thirdly teachers. Yes. After that, miracles. Yes. Then gifts of healing. Help. That's where we are right there. All right. Yes. If we did none other than this, help. You ought to be glad you could be a help to your leader. Help where? God place help in the what? In the church. The help is in the church. Who the help? You are the help. We ain't talking about somebody out there in that word being a help. We're talking about in the body of Christ. You are the help. What is it you want me to do, Pastor? I'm here to help you. Come on, somebody say amen. All teachers are all works of miracles. Have all the gifts of healing? Do all speak with tongue? Do all interpret? But covet honestly the best gift. Yeah. Let me know what the best gift is. There is no gift better than love. That is the best gift. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Love. Love has everything to do with it. When I was coming up, Rita Franklin used to sing a song, What Love Got to Do With It. I can respond now, he got everything to do with it. Greater love has no man than this, that a man would lay down his life for free. And you know who done that? Jesus already paid the price. Jesus already went to Capitol. You know why he went to Capitol? Because we needed him. We needed him. We needed help. And he was on and we were, we need to be washed. And we need to be washed in the blood of Jesus. See, I told you about the songs. I'll be saying, I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. Come on. I know it was the blood. Yeah. <laughs> 
hold up in there. You can't hold it to yourself. Come on, somebody say amen. amen. You know, it ain't often you see grown men crying. But when God get through with you, grown man cries, she ain't tears. Right. So, Lord, this is a yes, Lord, Lord. Lord, I'm trying my best to find a way to thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, because you've been good to me. You've been better to me than I've been to myself, Lord. I couldn't ask for nothing to better, Lord. You, you've been good to me, Lord. In wrapping my story up, Joshua was a good father to Moses. Yes, that's right, that's right. Soon as old Moses was getting ready to leave the scene, he brought old Joshua with him. And Joshua wanted to go there, he wanted to go all the way with him. And Moses stood and said, This is for you, Lord. I don't take your pose like no. Yeah. This is for you, Lord. He's called, I'm going up here and I won't be back down. I ain't coming back down. I'm going up here and I'm going up here and I'm going to be with the Lord. But you got to take the work on. Not one time did Joshua try to do any kind of work or was heard of, really. In any magnitude, except for him and Caleb. Yeah. Right. Amen. You didn't hear nothing about him. Right. He stayed in, he stayed in this land. Right. But when it was time for him to come forth, he come up on the yeah. Yeah. All right. I got Moses strong. I got Moses man up. I'm in charge. All right. All right. All right. He stayed in this land. Y'all yeah. remember Elisha? Yeah. Elisha was a good follower of Elijah. In the first king, the 19th of the 19th verse says, So he departed this and found Elisha, the son of Shepha, who was plying with 12 yoke of oxes before him. Many people with just two or one on But he got 12. No rain, Elijah stopped by this, this man. I believe Elijah, what if you old bad boy? You hit him with that mouth. Brother, that man had so much, had so much anointing in it. Brother, look here. Let me go back and say bye to my family. That's it. Mm-hmm. What did I do to you? <laughs> what did I do to you? So I'll be right back. You know what he did? He wouldn't say bye to his family. And to let you know, his mind was made up that he been the father of the Lord all every step of the way. Those, those brackets that hold the oxes together, he burned them up. Because uh-huh. he know he said, I'm not going to need this no more. Right. I've been doing another word. Right. Right. And Elisha, he done another word. And it came to pass, we're going to 2 Kings 2 and 9, and I'm going to let it go. And it came to pass when they were gone over, mm-hmm. Elijah said unto Elijah, that Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what shall I do for thee before I be taken away from thee? And Elijah said, I pray thee. Listen here. He didn't say, I just want to be just like you. I want to do what you've done. He had a heart, boy. I mean, that man, that, I mean, Elijah was, he was determined. He said, I did what I want. Yeah. I want a double portion. Yes, sir. <laughs> I, I want to, I want to, I, I, you, you know what Elijah said? You have the hard thing. But if you be here when I take up, you can have that too. Mm-hmm. You know what? When God came down in the whirlwind and picked up yeah. Elijah up, right. old Elijah was looking at him and said, I see you, I see you. <laughs> you know, right. Elijah threw it back down and he come. All right. The Prophet said, what you doing now? How you gonna get back to the cross? He said, the God of Elijah. Boom! He spoke and he walked across the room. Oh, my God. Listen, God can use you. Yeah. He's looking for a vessel. In a great house, there are many vessels. Yes. God said, there are some the honor and some the dishonor. Yeah. But even if you feel like you were one of the vessels of dishonor, you just hang it down. As long as you got your hand in God's hand, you got a chance. Yeah. But if you get discouraged along the way, along the way, and say, well, I'm just telling you, I can't take this no more. I can't live this life no more. Then what are you going to do? What in the world are you going to do from that point on? Amen. This is the way to go. Amen. It may get tough and loud when nobody ain't had some tough times. Yeah. Or having some tough times. Because yeah. these are some tough times now. Amen. These are the times you got to give God some glory and some praise. Whether you feel like it or not, say, Lord, I don't know what the day is going to be whole. Yesterday was tough, but you brought me out, but I don't know what the day is going to be. Yeah. Right. Right. Lord, I got my trust yeah. in you. Yeah. I'm putting my trust in you, Lord. Yeah. Whatever way you want it to go, Lord, yeah. I'm going to be satisfied. Right. How many of you don't made up your mind that you're going to walk this walk? Right. And you're going to talk the talk. Yeah. Lord, did 
not saying you for you to sit up in the seat and, 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 and be. You know what God say to you? So you can save somebody else. So you can go and witness to kill somebody. Somebody's going, I don't know what to say. I, I, don't, I don't testify like that. And I don't preach like that. And I don't say like that. Look at can nobody tell your testimony like you. I don't know how good they sing, how good they can preach. Can't nobody tell your testimony like you. You're the best person God had to tell your testimony. When God delivered you and set you free, God brings you off that dead bed, he meant for you to go tell somebody. Because somebody needs your testimony. Somebody don't believe that God is still in the miracle work of business. But you need to share your testimony. I know that God is still in the miracle of business. You that are still standing, tell somebody that God loves you. Somebody say, I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody who can say, I'll tell you all I can say, but don't think everyone's standing.